New details tonight in the Target 12 Investigators exclusive 38 Studios Behind Closed Doors. The state launched a probe in the wake of our investigation, revealing that not a single person registered to lobby on behalf of the video game company. A hearing for its founder, Kurt Schilling, was scheduled for today, but didn't take place. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us with more live outside the state house. The seemingly never ending mess involving Kurt Schilling's failed video game company was in play yet again today here at the state house, even if only for mere moments. We'll call the 11 o'clock lobbyist hearing uh, to order. In an almost empty room at the State House, a hearing set for today was delayed until early August. Let's get back and talk Kurt Schilling's like failed video game company, 38 Studios, which went bankrupt, was scheduled to be the subject of the hearing. Rhode Island's Secretary of State wants to know whether three representatives of 38 Studios broke state law by failing to register their efforts to lobby state lawmakers. Specifically, Secretary of State Ralph Mollis wants Kurt Schilling, 38 Studios board member Thomas Zaccanino, and company lawyer Michael Corso to explain why they should not be fined for conducting unregistered lobbying activities in 2010. Lawyers for all three men deny any wrongdoing. The leader of a government watchdog group argues the taxpayers depend on lobbyists to reveal their roles by registering. At its basis, that's why we have lobbying disclosure laws, to find out who's asking for what from whom. Uh, and why. And why. The Target 12 investigators first broke this story by revealing that 38 Studios pledged to pay lawyer Michael Corso $300,000 for his role interacting with government officials. It people don't comply, if they don't register at all, then the public's completely in the dark uh, at the who's trying to influence the process. And the public deserves to know who's trying to influence the process. Taxpayers in Rhode Island are now on the hook for roughly 90 million counting interest from a state-backed loan 38 Studios failed to pay back. Live at the Statehouse with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.